What's up guys and welcome back to Sliced. Now Popeye's chicken sandwiches have been trending over Twitter for a long time and unfortunately we don't really have that kind of thing in the UK but no need to worry because I'm going to show you how to make an even better chicken sandwich. And we're going to start with eight boneless chicken thighs and a basic dry rub to go with it. Some salt, black pepper, cayenne pepper, garlic powder and onion powder. You're also going to need 500 ml of buttermilk and we're going to marinate our chicken in this and we're going to coat it in 250 grams of plain flour. You're also going to need some brioche burger buns to serve it with along with a sweet and spicy mayonnaise made with sriracha and some honey from the Latin Honey Shop. I'll leave a link in the description below and some lettuce and gherkins to serve the whole thing up. Okay, so we're going to start by halving our dry rub, putting half of it into our flour and half of it over our chicken. Just whisk up the flour so it's nice and combined and then rub the dry rub into your chicken so it's nicely seasoned. And then we're gonna evenly coat it in buttermilk and buttermilk is slightly acidic so it's gonna help tenderize our chicken. You can leave it overnight for an hour or even just do it straight away like I did. It doesn't really matter that much. And then we're gonna cover it in flour so that it's nicely packed into every corner. And once you've done this, you can just shake off any excess and layer it to the side. In a wok with some rapeseed oil or any oil that's got a high smoking point, you wanna heat it to a medium high heat and drop the chicken in. You don't wanna overcrowd it, just do two at a time. Flip it halfway so that it's nicely golden. Make sure it's cooked all the way through. And then we can go ahead and serve it. And so I'm gonna slice some gherkins lengthways, take a brioche bun that I've toasted in a dry pan, spread our lovely mayonnaise on both sides, layer some gherkins and lettuce at the bottom, and pop our chicken on top, and that is it. Now I'm not a massive fan of gherkins, but it really works in this burger. And look at that for a cross section, absolutely amazing. And this is such an easy recipe. If you'd like to see more of these recipes, please like, subscribe, follow me on my socials at slice underscore yt. And as always, you can find the recipe in the description.